Yo, yo, this your boy Jonathan from Wanna See New York, man. We out here with Detroit's finest or newest up and coming B&B's artist. How you doing, man? What's poppin'? It's your little big homie, Fool Boy Marley. What up, though? How you doing? And, and you got the producer with you, too, right? Yeah, Dre Butters, man. Dre Butters, man. How you doing? How, how many times you been out here in New York, man? Uh, it's like my third time. Third time? Same for you, or? Uh, First? Yeah. Plenty times, Couple man. times? Yeah, plenty times. I don't know how many, but... Plenty. All right, cool, cool. Yeah. So, um, the new label, like, uh, from what I was reading, uh, Sony before, and now you're with b and B. I uh, I was with b and and then I signed a, so a single Sony deal with b and oh, okay, cool, yeah. cool, so cool. So, it's only a single deal, so that's Got just you. one song. But. All right, cool, cool. And, um... How you like it with uh, your new, you know, teammates, your new fellow artists? Oh, it's Gucci. It's Gucci. You know, as far as B and B. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, they're my babies, man. I think I interviewed a couple of, of your artists on, on your team. Um, Q. Little Q. Yeah. 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 That's my dog. Got a lot of energy, man. A whole yeah. lot of energy. I love him, man. All right, cool, cool. And um, I've read that you toured with Little Dirk. Yeah, I just got off a tour probably not too long ago, probably a couple months ago. Oh, how was that? It's Gucci, man. Uh, all around Cali, man. I love California, dog. Yeah. Yeah. So I got to go to places I ain't never been in Cali, like uh, where we go, S um, Bay Area. I ain't never been in the Bay Area. Uh, Sacramento. All right. You know, of course, I've been to L.A. and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Main. That box. was dope. That was. Be, that was dope as hell Being like in LA Like being able to go To the radio stations And stuff I ain't never been able To do that Wow that's there, dope man Talking to all the DJs That I used to DM You know what I'm saying They ain't never checked <laughs> my like, DM It's like yo You never checked it before <laughs> yeah. But now you see me here What's yeah, up Yeah that's crazy That was crazy bro So I'm like wow I'm really in here right now And they about to listen To my stuff And this and that I get my okay. chance so And, and you got the, the new single out Better Man Yeah Better Man man It's my, it's my Well, job. What was the concept I see it's, it's Better Man seems more Slowed down uh -huh. Than your other songs yeah. Uh, what was the what was the like reason behind it? Yeah, like what what made you want to uh, slow it down, tone it uh, tone it down a little bit? Well, I know a lot of people know me as Fool Boy Old Boy. You know that song. Uh, I really did that just because it was up tempo and it's just easier for people to catch up on on it. But gotcha. as far as like going a better man, I just wanted people to get a whole other side of me and then okay. real and then know that I can. I'm versatile You know what I'm saying Not only can I rap But I can hold a little note You know gotcha. what I'm saying Yeah Put the melody on the track <laughs> Yeah put a little right? melody So And then Not only that I just want I want my city You know f Other cities too But as far as my city It's just a lot of Kill kill Murder murder music You know what yeah, I'm saying yeah. So I just want to give them Something else man and, and what part of Detroit Is it that you West side West side Yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, But cool. I don't like to like Really claim nothing too much Cause <laughs> at the end of the day It ain't about yeah, A street yeah, sign yeah. You know what I'm saying Detroit's Detroit That's Detroit, it Detroit yeah, yeah yeah Off top Got you. And, and um, he produced the track right Yes Dre, yes You produced it right What was it like Producing that track for him I didn't really know what direction he wanted to go. And then, um, like I say, he uh, he already knew what he wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much. So he gave me the idea, like, yeah, this is how I want to do it. And I just started coming up with melodies and, and drums and stuff. And then he started vibing to it and then just started putting the record together. So okay. it came together pretty good, pretty easy. It was pretty smooth. Okay, cool, yeah. cool. And, um... The how how many hours would you say it took? Sometimes I know you know to get that right track. How many hours would you guys say that you was in the studio with that with that track? Uh, with just like just making the beat or making the whole thing? Just everything, the whole production. Well, it was days. Yeah. 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 It's about fifty hours total. Yeah. yeah, from from the time we started to the time we mixed and mastered it. Yeah. Okay. And, and then, so basically, like, like after that, it was basically. Everything was just edited perfect. It was yeah. no going over it, no nothing. Yeah, I actually recorded the because uh, I didn't record the song all in one day. I recorded one verse and then I recorded the second verse like another day. And he wasn't at the studio at the time, so I had to record the second verse by myself at the, uh, in the studio because I'm, I like to make music a lot, like with my personal life and things that's going on. So I couldn't. I couldn't finish the song because I was actually going through like a real situation, so I had to like really go through it to finish the song. So, as soon as I went through it, I, I was able to write the second verse. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. What's up, man? 
and then um so you've been producing for him for some time now. How many other songs have you produced for him that is out there that we could actually look up and listen to? Uh I think it's like I think it's a uh, like one Reaching other stars. Yeah, it's like uh, a record called "Reaching for the Stars." Yeah, we don't we don't have a lot of records out yet, but we have a lot of records together. <laughs> yeah, like for sure. a lot. Yeah, yeah, but it's just a process actually putting records out and stuff. So we just sit and uh, keep working, man. That's about it. But we got a bunch of records. We work all the time. Yeah. Any other projects you guys are working on? I know you're pushing Better Man right now. That's like the main goal. Anything else like we can expect from you guys? Yeah, uh, we got an EP we working on right now called Let There Be Light. Uh, he going to produce it as well as my producer back at home, Westside Kari. Uh, so they both going to help me with it. Uh, I really just want them on it. I mess with other producers as well. Shout out to all the producers in Detroit, but I really just want them on it because they they really know me and, and direction I want to go. So I feel like it'll just take the mixtape to better heights. It being simple for us to do, you know what I'm saying? And us being already our, what do you, what do you call it? Our jail. Uh -huh. Yeah, we already song, combined. Like we already, yeah. you know? Yeah, so it's just easier instead of trying to work with a new producer, which I don't mind, but trying to work with a new producer and then... You got to get the feel. Yeah, and then I'm an honest dude, so I might be like, I don't like that or something. They might take that a certain way, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And um, besides just music, I also read that you done a lot of giving back, uh, a lot of, you know, giving to homeless, uh, helping out with charities with uh, autism, so, you know, is that a part also of, you know, the whole writing The Better Man? Or is it just, it, it's just something that you do in your heart? No, yeah, that's just something, that, it ain't got nothing to do with necessarily Better Man. That's just something I've been doing and I feel like uh, I should do and I have to do. You know what I'm saying? Giving back is very important. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't do it as much as I should. But when I can and when the opportunity is brought in, I will. And uh, like when I had a show out in Atlanta um, for the autism, like that was dope. I ain't never performed for kids with autism and stuff like that. So being able to do that and, and for my first time was dope. And uh, I just, I don't know, I just like doing things for people, man. I, I think I'm more than just a rapper, you know what I'm saying? I'm more than just an artist. You know, I have a voice for real and people that look up to me. So I feel like I'm responsible for people that, um, that I influence and stuff like that. So, yeah. Is there any other artists out there uh, that you would be willing to work with uh, that you're filling right now in this industry? Uh, all of them. Sorry, no, but, uh, <laughs> uh, Drake, of course, he's just dope, man. He's accurate. Uh, Meek Mill, J. Cole, Kendrick, all of them dope. I would really want to work with, like, Anthony Hamilton, Lauren Hill, though. So, so take it back Classic What would you do Like what would the motive be For those songs Would those be like The classic Lauren Or would it be yeah. The classic Lauren It'd be all Just be smooth And organic And like Soulful You know what I'm saying Soulful And it'd be a song You can really feel Cause all three of us Lauren Anthony and me we That's how we write music You know Stuff you can feel You know what I'm saying So that'd be dope man And As far as how can I say it? As far as like the new rappers that's out nowadays, do how do you set yourself aside from what they do? I mean, you know, they probably might have that, you know, like you said, an up tempo song, you know, like Full Boy Oh Boy. But then again, it's just like, do you feel like your songs just straight different from what they do? As far as definitely different. Um, I try not to pay attention too much to them. Because I don't want to feel like I need to be like them or something Or feel like, oh, dang, that's working for them Maybe I should just, you know what I'm saying I like to just stay in my lane and, and just do me, man uh, The new music these days is kind of weird But it's cool, though I like some of them, you know what I'm saying Like that Uber Everywhere, I love that song I was listening to that on the way here that Uber Everywhere did you, did you jump in the Uber over here? Yeah, I was in the Uber, so that's what made me sing <laughs> Heck yeah And, um so you said your new project, the Let There Be Light. 
And could we look for like a release date or you don't know not yet? Put that out there, yeah, I don't know no release date. And if I I don't want to give y'all no date, and y'all be looking at me like, ah, oh, he's it. So, so. Any, any videos that we could look forward to or? Better man, uh, we supposed to be shooting when I get back. Uh, I'm supposed to probably shoot Saturday, but it's so much with that video. I don't want to rush it, so we might wait on it to like we're not about to just rush shooting it right when I get back. We still gotta put a lot together. So I'm just taking my time with that. I don't like to rush things, man. I like to take my time, man, you know, and it make sure every – I'm a perfectionist, man. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't right, we got to do it over again or something, you know? Gotcha. Yeah. And uh, would you have any intake on that also as far as the video, being that, you know, you basically produced the track? Uh, no, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a roll with what, whatever he come up with. It's, it's, Can we see a feature from you in the video? Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, I'm going to come through. You going to rap for the town? Through. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. Um, let them know your social networks, where they can find you at. You know your SoundCloud, Bandcamp, and all that. Uh, you can follow me. Follow me on everything, man. Fool Boy Marley, F O O L B O Y Marley, like Bob Marley. Again, that's F O O L B O Y Marley, M A R L E Y. And you follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and uh, Twitter. Drake Butters three one three. D R E B U T T E R Z three one three. And uh, but before we go, before we go, you know, I know you're very lyrical. I just want to know if we could get like a quick sixteen or something out of you. Can can we get that? Yeah. Uh, what I'm rap about? Uh, let me see. Let it go, man. Just let it go. I got to get over her. I can't lie. It ain't that easy. I've been over here trying to make a change in a way, man. Way too many memories messing up my day. Wonder if she missing me. That life just hit me in the face, man. So much on my mind. I can't sleep at night. Roll me up a wood. Smoke away my life. Yeah. I don't have a girl. It's just me these days. I be missing her. Bitches calling me, but I don't pick up. I can't talk right now, girl. I ain't trying to hear you. Yeah. Ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> it's a little something, something. A little something? Yeah. All right. Yo, this your boy Jonathan from On The Scene, New York. Full boy Marley. Yes, yes. Dre Butters. Appreciate you, man. 100. We out. Oh, it's Dre Butters. And it's your little big homie, Full boy Marley, man. And we rocking with On The Scene, New York. Yes, yes. B&B &B Entertainment. Yeah, yeah.